I'm going to open up Int Demo and pick up some images. I'm going to look at C Work, Iris Capture Pro 5, Int Demo, Images, Invoices, and my items in this case. So I do open, I pick up the images. I could just append an image if I wanted to. I could have another one. I'll click on open. So there we go. So I've got my images. Now I'm going to run through the next stage, which is the import. So now let's um, let's go and read this batch. Now during the reading, just as a reminder, we go and pick up the data. But we're going to extract the data from the invoice. We're using labels and formats and some intelligent decision making to make sure that we've got the right data. Now this stage takes a, a certain amount of time. It's natural. We're doing some reasonably intensive stuff. There we go. Close. Validation or some of the invoices where I've got some issues. Now I've got the date that's wrong, for example, you can see the field is red and I had an OCR mistake. I could have corrected it by hand manually and it would have auto uh, transformed it to an ISO standard. In the case of these amounts down here, well, by mistake, uh, the software picked up the wrong VAT amount. So here I'm going to use the little recognition tool. There we go, picked it up. You can see my field is yellow because I changed it. What I could also do is right click one of those invoices and just do edit to have a look at the data inside. Now everything's ready for export. We'll simply just click on the export button at the top. We have a choice of two different data files and output either XML or CSV. For every freeform field, you'll actually get the coordinates of where the data was actually picked up. So you actually you get the content, of course, but you also get where we actually picked up that data. The third piece of information that we give is the status value. So that is, uh, what state was it in? Uh, was it a value that was correct? Was it a value that needed correction, that was wrong, and so on? Thanks to this XML file, if you really wanted to, and as one of my clients did, you can recreate a validation screen. You know where the data is, so you can show where it was picked up, you know what the value was, and you know if the data was good or not. And so in the case of this other client, he wanted to be able to have a validation screen through a web page, so he created his own. You can ask to export the images, all of the invoices. And as an option, you can convert those invoices to a searchable PDF, for example. And you can do some encryption on it, um, create a PDF A for long term storage, use IHQTC for um, compression. And there we go, we've done the whole workflow. We've done the capture, where we actually pick up the data. We've done the import, where we do. Uh, some image cleanup, we do some document classification and we do full text OCR. We've done the reading where we go and extract the data from the invoices. Validation where a user will come in and make any uh, corrections. And the export is where we just simply send out the data as an XML file or CSV.